Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of my live tea tasting. I've got a great show for you guys today, so I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, because as you guys know, this week, uh, this month I'm doing uh, both uh, hot and cold teas, iced teas, so everything is poured out, ready to go. I'm super duper prepared this time, so uh, we'll see if I, uh, <laughs> if I missed anything as I usually do. But anyway, today's, uh, today's stream is... Uh, a little bit different. I haven't done anything like this in a while. Uh, Debra, welcome. So tonight's stream is going to be a, a, a rooibos tea. And I have not done rooibos in a really long time. And I'm super excited because this is a flavor that I haven't had in a really long time. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what this tea looks like dry. Now, as you can see, it's really, really red. It's known as a red tea. And it's like, this one, is it's super light brown. Um, and it's it's actually not a tea at all. It's a it's an herb from what's called the rooibos bush. Uh, it's a short leaf tea. And as you can see, it's super duper small leaves. Let me see if I can uh, pull up some of it. It's so small, it doesn't even show up on camera very well because I'm trying not to <laughs> trying not to uh to drop it, but yeah, it's not working. So as you can see it's really really short leaves. Um and then after it's steeped, there's not really much of a difference. You can see it. It's very, very small, kinda looks like coffee grounds. Um but the, the 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 leaf itself is so is, is so small uh you have when you steep it you have to make sure that you have a very fine uh netting in your infuser otherwise it's gonna leak right through and it's gonna be it's gonna be a little crazy so uh this i'm like really excited to do because the smell alone is just really really incredible it's sweet uh it's it's kind of thick in its sugariness um but it's 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 one of my uh, gamer welcome. <laughs> I see you in there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my first sip because this stuff is just I, I, I it's been a while since I've had it, so <laughs> I'm excited. Oh yes, <laughs> it's been it's been way too long. I have not had this in a really long time, and I mean it's bringing back so many memories. When I first started drinking tea, I used to drink rooibos all the time. Rooibos was, it's naturally sweet, uh, and it's not caffeinated, so I could drink it and just be fine. Plus, it has a lot of good health benefits. Um, just recently, I've heard that it's, it, it helps you suppress allergies, uh, and it helps, it helps the, uh, the body adjust with uh, antihistamines or something like that. Uh, now, there's no hard evidence this is something that's just been said uh that's good to help allergies but by all means like I, it doesn't hurt to try you know not specifically for allergies but just drinking in general oh so good <laughs> so as you can see there's a really nice dark a uh, red tone to it. That's natural color from the honey bush. Uh, the only thing that's that's in this uh, that's in this blend, um, ingredients wise, is should be just caramel and uh, sorry caramel flavoring and rooibos. Uh, let me double check just to make sure. I don't want to give you guys any bad information. Uh, yep, that's all it is. Natural uh, rooibos and natural car car yeah, caramel flavor. So you, it doesn't get much better than this because it's super sweet. Um, it's nice and uh, and light flavored. And uh, when you get uh, was this some questions on Facebook? I'm not getting any questions. Uh, sorry, you guys. I let me try. Oh, there it is. Wow. Okay. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, I had some some tech issues. I didn't get your your questions, uh, but Ani, welcome. Rachel, welcome. Um, okay, so I'm actually getting into that. You can use a coffee filter, 
Um, it's not necessary because the grounds are not uh, are not that big, um, but the netting on here has to be pretty pretty fine. Like you can see through it, but it's not like like the holes aren't that big. Uh, as well, it, that it, that's uh, the iced tea question is about to be answered because I made it iced as well. <laughs> So without further ado, I will go ahead and uh, taste this iced as uh, for you as well. Oh, that is incredible. Now, I had a little bit of a secret here. I used to ice this all the time. And it is the, in my opinion, the perfect uh, iced tea. Because it's um, very, very flavorful, very sweet naturally. Uh, and then when you add sugar to it, as you should to a nice tea, that just enhances it even more. Um, you get that flavoring with, uh, it, it, it tastes kind of milky and creamy just from the, uh, just from the, the caramel flavor uh, alone. But uh, the, the, the tea itself has a bit of a texture to it. Uh, a little bit slightly grainy, um, but it's got a nice mouthfeel to it. Uh, kind of like a malt, uh, a, a malt kind of texture to it. Uh, and yeah, it does kind of look like a shot glass, but it's a lot bigger. As you can see, it's about the size of my hand. Uh, so it's a big shot glass, because I'm a big shot. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, like this is, this is definitely a great iced tea. I love it. I mean, it's got a very thick flavor too. Like, uh, I I did sweeten the iced tea. I did not sweeten the hot. Uh, I just make it a habit not to sweeten teas for you guys. Um, at least the hot version. A, a little bit like Malta, yeah. It does have that uh, that grainy that grainy texture uh, that that grainy texture to it, um, but it doesn't have that really strong. Uh, flavor it's really light really sweet perfect for iced tea uh, at least in my opinion now drinking it drinking it hot there's a strong uh, difference in flavor because the when it's cold it brings out the sweetness a lot more it brings out the sugary kind of uh, of flavor but uh, the, the, the hot tea kind of suppresses flavor a little bit. So you're still getting a naturally sweet flavor, but it's also uh, paired up a little bit smoky uh, and a little bit kind of, um, it's slightly smoky. It's, it's not as sweet. It's a little bit savory, but naturally sweet. Kind of like, I want to say you get the same kind of effect from a sweet barbecue sauce. Um, because you have that that kind of smoky kick, but you have that also with the brown sugar. Uh, it's sweet, and it just coats the tongue really well. You get this kind of sensation with the hot one uh, versus the cold being a lot uh, sweeter and a lot more uh, vibrant in the mouth. The hot version is, is muted quite a bit by comparison, but it's still excellent. Ooh, it's really hot. Oh. Now, this one also, what I like to do, uh, I didn't do it this time, but you can absolutely put a little bit of uh, milk or cream in it, and it's just, it hits the spot. Um, what I like to do, I like to drink this in the fall, the hot version, and the cold version in the summer. Um, and it, I, I do admit it has been a while since I've actually had the uh, iced version. I bought this. I bought this bag, the, the Royvis Caramel. I bought about, I want to say, a year ago. Because I planned on making it one summer. Um, well, last summer specifically. But I never got around to it. But, you know, I mean, it's working, it's working for me now. Because this stuff tastes incredible. And you go right through it. Uh, especially when it's iced, because uh, if you have a sweet tooth, kind of like I do, uh, you're going to get more of a, um, you're going to drink it a lot faster, you pull it out the fridge and just guzzle it down, 
And it moves a lot faster than the hot version, at, at, at least for me. But I just tend to, uh, I just tend to prefer cold drinks over hot, just in general. Gilbert, welcome. Jordan, welcome. <laughs> you guys are popping in uh, one right, right after the other. It's a busy stream today. Ooh, now my glasses are all uh, fogged up. Oh, there we go. Anyway, so like I was saying, this is a, a non-caffeinated tea, um, but it's very, very flavorful. Uh, it's it's uh, it comes from uh, South Africa, and it's harvested there. And the what I I always love talking about this little piece of trivia, uh, but I've always found it interesting how the name Roybus is actually a German term for red bush. Um, and you can tell, like that's the cultural uh, environment that it was that it was uh, that it was created in, where you go into Africa and you see the German influence. Uh, I believe it's like German, Dutch, uh, and there's another country I want to say. I, I'm German, Dutch, and Spain. I want to say, hey Ma, welcome. Um, hey Teresa and Izzy, welcome too. <laughs> Uh, but you can see the uh, the cultural environment that is in South Africa, uh, just based on on the fact that you know it's a bush that's got a German name there. So <laughs> that's just a little tidbit of information that I always like to throw out there. Mm. Oh, that is so good. I'm actually getting. A little bit of an apple kind of flavoring um, when I drink it. Now they do have a caramel apple, uh, a caramel apple uh, tea that uh, that I created on on my own blend that I used for this. Uh, but even without the apple in it, it still has like a little bit of a fruity, uh, an apple fruit kind of uh, kind of flavoring. I think it's called a rock fruit, uh, a rock fruit, anything that's like hard and not citrus. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's called a, a, a rock fruit kind of category. Um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely really good. Mm. And I love the way that it just circles in my mouth around as I breathe. The uh, the sweetness tends to linger. It's got a it's got a medium to slow burn on it. Um, the flavor doesn't dissipate right away uh, as it does with some teas. This one there's uh, usually like for uh, for the peppermint that I did last week. You had that effervescence which stayed and then it, it vaporized in the tongue. This one stays there and it just coats everything. Um, and it has that that slightly uh, grainy texture that gives it some weight uh that's really the kind of uh experience that i love having especially with this rooibos because uh it, it gives it a more to me it's a more fulfilling uh flavor and a more fulfilling experience oh <laughs> i'm sorry i realize i make that noise every time i drink and and, and i just let it out but i mean it's so it, it, this is one of my favorite teas, uh, just in general, the type of tea, like the rooibos, uh, has always been one of my favorites, uh, but I, it's, it's a rare thing that I actually drink it for some reason, I don't know why, uh, but it is a, it's something that I thoroughly enjoy and I need to bring it back into circulation. Uh, I did get, uh, about two years ago, Oh yeah, like I mentioned before, rooibos is not a tea. Rooibos is an herbal blend, um, and it's not caffeinated. It doesn't have the Camellia sinensis plant plant in it, um, so that's why it excludes it from the tea category. Uh, but in in this case, we can call it an herbal blend uh, only because it's it's straight up herb. There's absolutely no actual tea in it. 
And all herbal teas, with very few exceptions, are not caffeinated. Uh, the only herbal tea that I can think of off the top of my head that is ca caffeinated is the mate. And the mate is an herb that's found in, so uh, in South America. Um, and it's, it's I, I've done it before where it was drunk, it, it's drunk out of a, uh, out of a gourd. Um, and that's just a cultural thing. The, um, the caffeine content in there is really, is really high. It's a, it's comparable actually to coffee. Um, it's not as high, but it's almost there. Uh, and it can be, it can be a really good kick in the pants when you need it. Mm. I'm doing the uh, the Thomas taste because I like to hold it uh, in my mouth just just for a half a second, take a beat and let it uh, settle on the tongue, and it it just does a good job of coating, um, and it keeps the, the the tongue nice and uh, nice and satisfied at least in my opinion. I take a little bit more of the iced. Now, I had sweetened this with, uh, with uh, stevia, and stevia can be really super sweet. It tastes artificial, but it, it's not. Um, it's just different source, different kind of sweetness, different, uh, different kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like they, like the, they, they, it comes from a, from a plant ra rather than the sugar cane. Uh, so it's got a different set of sweetness and it's actually more sweet than regular sugar. Uh, so you don't really need as much to it, uh, as much of it to, uh, sweeten your tea to that same level. This one in particular, I think I might've oversweetened it a little bit. Um, not by much though, because it's got a nice smooth, uh, not overly sweet flavor. But it's really like I, I'm fighting the urge right now to just drink it all up because it's this is my kind of tea, you know. It's it's nice and and full flavored, um, naturally sweet. It's naturally uh, filling, in my opinion. Uh, what's this? And you have no ice in the iced tea, so you're drinking. So you're really drinking cold tea. No, there is actual ice in the pitcher. It's starting to, to melt, but, I mean, you guys can't see it. Um, it's barely there. Uh, now, the way that it works, in, the way that I, that I steeped this one in, uh, in the pitcher was uh, a hot steep. Now, what I did was uh, I put, I steeped it at 212 degrees um, for about five minutes. Now, the rooibos, since it's not a tea, you can leave it in there. Uh, I used to do it for a full hour, but last night I I made this last night kind of in a hurry, so I only left it for the for the five minute uh, steep time. Uh, but for an hour, it's not going to burn. Um, you leave it in there and then uh, put the ice in, shake it up, and you make it nice and airy, and then you just put it in the fridge. Uh, I did that last night, and the fridge kept the 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 tea so cold. That it didn't even melt the ice. <gasps> oh, excuse me. The ice is still mostly there. Um, it will probably be gone by the end of the stream. Because it's barely there now. I'm fighting the hiccups, guys. Ah, okay. There we go. <laughs> the hiccups have passed. Um, but yeah, like you don't really need to ice iced tea um, if you if you cold brew it. Now, cold brewing is what I did for the first uh, the first tea I did. It was um, I forgot I forgot what it was. <laughs> it was my first tea this month, right before the lap sang. It was something else. Forget it. Whatever it was, <laughs> it's gone. From my head, but um, I did cold uh, cold steep that one. Oh, that's what it was the uh, the watermelon refreshment. That's what it was. So that one I cold steeped overnight. Um, left it in in my 
in, in my infuser and just kept it in the fridge all night. It came out fine. Um, I like to get to uh, use different ways of uh, steeping depending on the type of tea. The blue one? Oh, do you mean the uh, the uh, butterfly pea flower? Sorry, <laughs> it took me a second. I was like, no, the butterfly pea flower. Uh, that you can also do hot for like an hour because it's an herb. So you're not going to get that uh, oversteeped burnt flavor out of it. Um, Although I I did cold steep that one. I have some blue mango, which is butterfly pea flower and mango in it. Um, that was actually uh, cold steeped, but it came out really good anyway. Uh, cold steep for iced tea works better than hot steep, in my opinion. Uh, well, I mean, it depends. On, like, like I said, it depends on the tea. I like to hot steep... Um, herbal teas because it's really really difficult to oversteep them. I tend to cold steep uh to cold steep uh black teas because I hate when I screw up and um and I get that uh that oversteeped that oversteeped flavor. It messes things up really really bad. Uh and sometimes sugar can't help. So I like to cold steep that. Um, the astringency, yeah, that, that's a huge part of it. Um, but yeah, that's what I did during the, uh, during the tea party. That was the, um, the butterfly pea, the, the butterfly pea flower, ah, I can't talk. Butterfly pea flower <laughs> blend, uh, that I had for the tea party. It was, it was really good. Um, as you guys had seen, I got to change it from blue to purple. Uh, just by adding a little bit of lemon, and that's the magic. Uh, but yeah, it's some some pretty good stuff. All right, guys, I'm going to open up the uh, open up the floor. To questions, comments, anything you want to talk about. Now's the time. Uh, I do have a couple of announcements. Um, first and foremost, I am excited to let you guys know that I am uh, taking part of the Nomad Tea Festival. So tomorrow from four uh, was it four thirty to yeah four thirty to six. I had misunderstood the 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 time because they're based in Australia. A couple things happened, but okay, like I have my head on straight. It is now four thirty to six. Uh, so if you have not already signed up, now's the time. It will be happening four thirty Central time. Yes, four thirty Central. Uh, so. Feel free. We have. I, I believe we still have some spaces open. Uh, it's up to fifteen people, uh, and this will be an international thing, uh, so people from all over the world may be attending. Um, and also, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I had something right on the top, and it's just it's gone. Yeah, old man brain is leaking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. That uh, it's going to be more focused for those who have come to my uh, Saturday tea parties, and we just shoot the breeze and talk about whatever. Um, this one will be more focused on personal experiences, uh, what tea means to you, how you discovered tea, how uh, how much of an impact it's made on your life, what you find interesting, anything that you want to talk about. Uh, this is going to be a great opportunity to just. Uh, share your feelings and share your experiences and listen to other people and learn by um, by their experiences and you might find some stuff that's fascinating just as I did uh, I love listening to people who have tasted teas and had uh, different experiences um, and talking about uh, experiences like that uh, I always think about the uh, Bill Waterston experience that we had uh, at Tilula, and he talked for about two hours about visiting different countries and uh, his time on the uh, on the plants and and uh, I mean uh, the plantations and you know like walking through the bushes and and you know like having the teal the the the, the fields that were miles and miles full of tea. It was just incredible. Just the photos were excellent. 
Um, and it's fascinating listening to people and finding out what makes their, uh, what piques their interests. And, you know, like, this is something you'll learn from it. And you'll also find um, some different, some different facts that you never knew. So, by all means, I, I thoroughly encourage you guys to register for the Nomad Tea Festival. Specifically, my uh, tea party for getting to know your besties. And, you know, just having a great time. Um, yeah, <laughs> that was one announcement. Um, do I have any others? Uh, of course, since I'm not, I'm doing one tea party, I'm not going to be doing the other. So the uh, regular Saturday afternoon tea party will not be happening, unfortunately. But uh, you can still join in and have fun with me on the, uh, on the tea festival. Okay, I'm going to answer Teresa's question as I do every week. What would I pair this tea with? Well, um, I would pair this tea with uh, something very sweet, something dessertish. Um, I would say vanilla ice cream. Like this is great for dessert tea. Uh, it's naturally sweet. It's it's super. Uh, what do you mean, boo? <laughs> I think it would go great with vanilla ice cream. It's just nice and, and airy, and it's it complements that uh, kind of flavor pattern uh, very well. Um, cookies. This is a this is definitely a cookie tea. Uh, anything that you would put caramel on, even chocolate. You could eat some some Hershey chocolate bars in there. Everything would be great. You know, I mean, it's like nice and nice and silky and smooth, and it's good stuff. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> cheesecake. Yeah, I mean, it depends on what you put on the cheesecake. I would recommend it more with plain. Uh, but if you have anything heavily flavored, um, even if they have like a dulce de leche cheesecake, that would be great. Um, because, I mean, that's that's exactly what caramel is. Uh, that would complement it pretty well. Um, even some of the fruity cheesecakes, that would be great. Oh, boo is for the weekly tea party. Hey, you can't boo it. Just go ahead and register for the other one. You, you, you got it. <laughs> you won't miss anything. I know, I know. It's, I mean, it's grown. It's grown to be a huge part of me too. Uh, but you know, I mean, this is this is this is an incredible experience. You know, I'm getting my name out there, and it will be international. So, yeah, you know, I'm all for it. Um, exactly, come on, <laughs> come into the, into the Nomad Tea Festival, it is free, my event is free, uh, you can choose to donate, uh, on some of their price tiers, but, uh, all in all, you can just sign up and, and see me there, you can also, uh, join any of the other, uh, tea events that are going on, there's gonna be, uh, tea-based entertainment, there's gonna be lectures, there's gonna be vendors, it's it's gonna be a great uh, a, a great way to get exposure, so by all means go ahead and sign up, and I hope to see you there. Mm. Oh, that is really smooth. I love this tea. <laughs> it's like it just envelops your entire mouth and 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 just sits there and warms you up. It's really good. And the and the ice version, even better. If I were to, I know that, uh, Sanaya, you want me to rate these teas, you usually ask. Uh, so, if I were to rate these teas, I would have to say, out of, out of five teacups, the hot version, I would give five teacups. It's incredible. I love it. The iced tea, I would give five plus teacups because it's slightly better. I like it. <laughs> but there, I mean, I, I want to crank it up to 11 a little bit and, you know, give it an extra, an extra plus because this is like just a really, really good tea. 
Oh, okay. Questions, comments, anything you want to talk about? Now's the time. Um, because my tea is starting to run a little bit low. I think I have like maybe two or three, um, two or three guzzles left. <laughs> so now's the time to ask any questions. Um, I don't know if I have any other, any other announcements off the top of my head. Um, oh, uh, well, let me get my sip. So I know I promised the uh, catalog would be uh, would be available last week. Ouch! I did not. I I, I messed up. <laughs> I, I need to add one more thing to it, um, and then I'll release it. So it'll probably be up this week. Um, if you're interested in taking a look, go ahead and uh, either email me at uh, what is it the community the community-t at outlook.com or just hit me up uh, via Facebook and you know, you'll catch me there um, and just request it. I'll email it to you. It's going to be a wonderful, a wonderful thing. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Okay, so questions, comments, anything you want to talk about, now's the time. Uh, you guys are pretty quiet on, uh, on, uh, uh, oh, Twitch. <laughs> Sorry, old man brain starting to leak again. Um, but yeah, welcome to all my Twitch followers. Uh, all five of you who are, I think there's only two in there today. Uh, am I adding the backpack? Yes, that is the very reason why it's late. I added the backpack to the, um, to the, uh, the, 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 uh, the scratch paper version. I, I, I mean, I don't know the, the word of it, but not the official. So it is on the scratch paper version. I just have to transfer it onto the real one and presto, it's done. So that's the only piece I'm missing, literally a five minute thing, but life just got ahead of me, but you know, it happens. Mm. Okay, so there's very, very little left. This is going to be my last swig. So, once again, questions, comments, anything you uh, want to talk about. Now is the time or forever hold your peace because I don't think I'll have any problems uh, drinking up this, little, this last little bit. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. All right, thank you guys once again for joining me. It's been an incredible experience. Um, if you, I'll be linking the uh, this tea to the Adagio, uh, the Adagio blend. Uh, why am I not wearing the hat? Good question, because I didn't think about it. <laughs> I will probably wear it next week. I'll definitely be wearing it tomorrow at the Nomad Tea Festival. So you'll see me there with the hat and shirt and mug, because I am that guy. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. It's been an incredible experience. Um, I'll be setting up the link on the Facebook. And if you want to check it out, uh, be my guest. I highly recommend this. Uh, and I guess have a great weekend, a wonderful week next week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.